What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of stories for you and one question. So let's dive right in our first story of the day has to do with the Samsung Galaxy Ring. Guys, that ring, remember, will be some kind of smart ring that tracks your Arcadian rhythms and your sleep and your probably your fitness and your heart rate and your oxygen levels and who knows what else. Maybe it'll give you notifications. Maybe it'll vibrate a little. Maybe it'll give you a little ding, ding, ding. Who knows what it's going to do. It's going to allow it to do a lot of stuff you would assume because it's a Samsung product. But when is it going to be coming out? Well, we assume it's going to be coming out in January with or with the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S24 phones, but it might come out sooner than that because the latest information that is leaking out is that in the latest Galaxy wearable app, the one that's over in Korea, is that they're actually, and I don't want to show it just because who knows if Samsung will strike me, but you can click on the link down below to see it. It says, wow, Galaxy Ring is coming. Korean users have examined the files of the Galaxy wearable app and found an icon. It seems the release of the Galaxy Ring is not far away. So, you know, could we see this in October? Like, or, you know, as a launch, like a kind of a smaller device to launch so that people can buy it for the holidays? That would not surprise me whatsoever because of the fact that it's always nice for companies to have something going into the holidays that's not too expensive that people can get as a, a main gift or a side gift. So we'll see what this happens. We'll see if it comes out earlier than you know that January, February time frame, or if it comes out in the next month or so. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. I'll let you guys know more information as it comes out. Our next up is all about this phone right here, the Galaxy S23 phone. This is the 23 Ultra. But the newest Beta 3 update is out for this phone. I just got it downloaded and installed. It came out like really early this morning and I just got it downloaded and installed. Um, one thing I've noticed, and I, you know, nothing huge, but it, it feels a little bit, not laggy, but a little bit, the animations aren't feeling great right this moment. Maybe it's because it was just installed and all that stuff. But um, yeah, let's talk about exactly what has been fixed and what's remaining to be needing to get fixed. So here's the information. This is the official, official change log out from Samsung. And they're saying that new features, video player, enhanced layout, video player controls are now easier than ever. Buttons with similar functions have been grouped together and the play button has been moved to the center of the screen. Enhanced playback speed controls choose between several video playback speeds between 2.5X and 20X. Speed controls are now easier to access with dedicated buttons instead of a slider. Bugs that have been fixed, improved One UI home crash, improved sometimes stop problem when switching home screen using app, fixed Bixby call error in certain situations, improved sometimes stop problem when pressing long on the home screen, improved the app termination problem when entering camera video mode, improved the problem when Samsung Pay is not executed with the swipe gesture, automatic restart of device care, add manual setting menu for scheduled restarts, improved the shape of notification icons and text, fixed the notification of bar color errors when running apps on Dex, fixed, and that was an issue, fixed the problem that the routine does not work in when you receive a message condition. They also have their known issues, which said after updating One UI 6, the installation of the kids app is not possible. It'll be possible in mid-September. Onboarding failure occurs when login is restarted after Samsung Pass and initialization and Samsung account logout. Voice recognition error, answer the phone while receiving the phone call. It seems like that doesn't work still. Google Assistant error, one swipe up in a specific situation. And again, that's a 1.4 gig update. So it's kind of nice that they're pushing these updates out fairly regular. And we, I think they usually do four betas of this and then they usually release it if I'm not mistaken. It might be five or six, but we're getting closer and closer. And um, I know some of the people have said like the, emo the emojis look a little crisper and things like that. But um, yeah, if I notice anything else uh, that's noteworthy, I may make a video and release it tomorrow and show you guys, but uh, so far uh, I haven't noticed anything personally, but I'll do a little bit of research for you guys. And if I do find some stuff, I will make another video. Your question of the day is, 
What do you feel like is the, one of the most exciting accessories or what do you, what, let's, do, let's do this. What accessory you're planning on getting next for whatever reason? Have it be new earbuds, maybe it's that Galaxy Ring, maybe it's a smartwatch, maybe it's a case. What accessory do you plan on getting next for whatever device? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump into our Q&A. Ricardo's asking if Samsung's coming out with a two terabyte model for the S24. Maybe, but after seeing Apple did not, I'm gonna guess no. Thanks for watching, have a great day. We'll see you down the road.